What's up, future programmers? I'm Kehlani, and I'm your host for Code Along. Scratch is a platform made for kids that allows you to build games, animations, and interactive stories without needing to write complex code. Woo! But today, it's all about AI. We're going to make our very own chatbot using Scratch. And when we're finished, you have a cool new buddy to talk to. Are you ready to get started, caller? Let's go. Go to scratch.mit.edu. If you don't have one already, create an account so that we can save and share our projects. Now I'm going to create a new project. You can do this by clicking on File, then New. Before we start, let's use our imagination. Imagine your chatbot is a character. Is it a funny robot? A wise robot? Or a weird alien from outer space? Giving our robot a character or personality will help make our chatbot experience even more fun. Are you ready to make a super cool AI robot? As I build my robot, you can build an identical one or let your imagination run wild and build your own. If you need a refresher on how to navigate Scratch, go check my Intro to Scratch video to learn all about how to use the basic Scratch blocks. All right, time to get coding. First off, look at that Scratch cat on your screen. That's your sprite or your little robot buddy. If you're thinking of getting a different robot friend, just click on this cat or sprite icon in the bottom right corner and select a new sprite. I'm going to choose this robot. I'm going to delete the cat for now and leave the robot. Once you've got your sprite, it's time to give it a stage to stand on. Click on the mountain icon to pick any backdrop you like. I'm going to choose this awesome spaceship. Now for the fun part. Make sure to click on your sprite so that it's glowing blue. To create my robot, I need to create its brain to store and answer questions. Then I need to teach the robot what questions to check for. And finally, I need to teach it how to respond. To start, I'll head over to the events category and pull in the when green flag click block. To keep our chat going, use a forever loop from the control category. Inside that loop, Let's place an ask block from the sensing section and type in, say something or ask me a question. Our robot has to remember stuff, right? So let's create its brain. Is anyone else starting to feel like a mad scientist? <laughs> Head to the variable section and click make a variable. Create one named found and another called prompt location. These variables will let me know if I found the answer and the location of the answer to the question. Next, create two more variables called prompts for questions and responses for the robot's answers. Whew, before we get into the heavy coding, let's set some things up. I want the robot to ask, say something, or ask me a question to start. If the robot does not find the answer to the question, then I'm going to set the found variable to false. Then change the prompt location variable to one because we're going to add a new question. Now, let's go on a little robot search mission. Take a repeat loop from the control tab and set it to go through the length of the prompts list. Control blocks tell the other blocks what to do and when to make a choice. Inside this loop, you can use an if-else block combined with the contains option from the operators tab to check if our robot already knows the answer. Operator blocks are like mini puzzle solvers on your project. They help sprites figure things out make choices, and create surprises. But what if our robot only kind of knows the answer, but not exactly? It's teaching time. Inside the loop, you can use the if, not, and contains block to make it check.
If our robot doesn't know the exact wording of the question, use the add to blocks to teach it. When our robot does know the answer, let's have it shout it out loud. To do this, we'll use the say block from looks. Next, we'll change the found variable to true. Then, I want to search each item in the prompt list and return the response that matches my question. All right, let's tell the robot to grab the answer and say it out loud. Just in case our robot doesn't recognize the question, let's teach it to move on to the next item. Use the change by one block for this. The change by one block will add a new space for the question you want the robot to learn. What if our robot finishes its list and still looks confused? Well, we need to teach it more. Let's ask our user, sorry, I don't know that. What should I say next time? Then we'll save that answer so our robot knows what to say in the future. Let's review to be sure you understand what each chunk of code is doing. In this section, we had the robot ask us for a prompt, then wait for our response, in the next section, we had the robot search our list of prompts to see if what we asked was already in its list of prompts, and if it was, then the robot will give us a response or answer. In the last section, we had the robot do add new prompts to its list that it did not know, then asked us what the answer or response should be to the new prompt. Whoa, that was a lot of code for our robot. Now that we truly understand our code, let's test this out. I want to clean up the screen a little bit by hiding the prompt and responses variables by right-clicking on them, then selecting hide. That looks so much better. There you go, you just built a smart AI robot. The coolest part, the more you chat with it, the smarter it becomes. If you want a closer look at my code, be sure to click the project link below. Let's make sure to save all of our hard work. Give your project the title, then click save now in the top right hand corner, or go to file and select save now. If you want to share your robot with friends for them to test it out, then click the share button. Have fun chatting with your new robot buddy and keep coding. <laughs>